All right, March, Women's History Month, and what better way to recognize it than with the women of the New York Liberty? Yeah, the team's fan base, talent on court, and both the community and atmosphere have resulted in an historic announcement this morning, and we are happy to make it right here on Fox 5. Joining us now are the Liberty CEO, Kia Clark, owner, Clara Sai, uh, Clara, pardon me. <laughs> Let me try this again. Clara Wu Sai, thank you very much. And team MVP, Brianna Stewart, you know her very well. We appreciate you guys joining us this morning for this big announcement. Um, Kia, do you want to take the honors and share with the world what you're here to talk about? Sure, I would be happy to. Uh, we are delighted to actually announce uh, Fox 5 and My9 as the official TV partner of the New York Liberty, which means all of our uh, local telecasts will be broadcast throughout New York City and the Tri-State. And we are excited about this. You know, Clara, no other WNBA team has a local agreement where their games will be broadcast over the air, right. where people can get it in their homes without cable, without access to any streaming service. So this is really a big deal for the league. It's yes, and we're happy that we can you know lead the league on this. But this is really important because there are you know um, uh, seventeen and a half million, there are seven and a half million TV households here, right? Mm -hmm. Which means we can reach twenty million people. That's great for us. And actually, you know, for for the Liberty, when we first bought the team and moved them to Barclays Center, one of our original goals was really to broaden the fan base and to try to reach as many New Yorkers as possible. From the early days, those were the goals. And we really wanted to make it easy for our fans to discover us and to be able to watch our games. And so this is really huge for us to be able to do this. And what it means is that we can reach our, every one of our fans in any way that they consume content, right? Whether it's over the air with an antenna or cable or satellite, pay TV, direct to consumer, you know, we're we, we're really at the point where we wanted to be, where we can reach everyone in the way that, that they well, like to receive. We're content. excited that it's going to be seen here on Fox 5 and Good Day New York. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the Barclays Center, boy, oh boy, <laughs> it's electric, Brianna. Explain, you know, what it's like for you to play there. To be honest, it's it's been unbelievable. Obviously, last season was my first season. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to what we're going to do this season. But um, it's just like an event. You know, you're going and there's a lot going on. Obviously, we're playing the game, but uh, my wife tells me, like, Ellie is going crazy. The timeless torches, like, yes. everybody is just kind of really consumed in, in the entire, the entire, excuse me, the entire night and having a lot of fun. So, Brianna, when did Liberty become so hot? I mean, because the team is on fire. It's when she came over last year okay. to win the MVP okay. and lead her to the and finals. And I'm glad that she's still <laughs> going to be with the team, right? Yes. So that's yes, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, obviously we made it to the finals first time in a long time with the Liberty. Um, we have our core coming back and we're excited to kind of take care of some unfinished business and um, just have fun and start with that amazing electric atmosphere come May. You know, Clara, the success that the team has had on the court, obviously, is translated really from a business standpoint. I mean, your premium seats are sold out. In the summer, this is an event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, absolutely. And, you know, we, you know, it's, it's an, well, first of all, the, you know, the, the incredible basketball that we have on the court, mm -hmm. but also the in arena entertainment. Mm -hmm. I think we mentioned, you mentioned the timeless torches and Ellie. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's kind of like this new, energy in this arena for like a new championship team for New York and I've never really felt um, you know that kind of atmosphere um, really ever in that arena and it's really fun to be part of something new. Kia, when can we expect to see some of this, uh, the games and... Sure, the yeah. season is right around the corner so um, our first game um, on the network will actually be May 14th. Oh uh, my goodness, yes. that's yes. soon! It's, it's coming very soon. Um, our okay. home opener is May 18th um, but we start on the road versus DC. Are there no tickets left, Clara? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, ask him for a I think friend I know here. someone, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brianna, I want to ask you real quick. Like, I think women's sports is, is it's already taken off, but it's really ready to zoom. If you look at the ratings, college basketball from women's standpoint is beating some NBA games yeah. right now. Yeah. It seems as though the country, and New York in particular leading the way, is really taking to the WNBA and women's sports in general right now. It's an exciting time. It, it is a very exciting time. I think that, you know, as a WNBA player, we've been, you know, trying to tell people this for a long time, and now you can feel the momentum and the shift behind it. People are really interested in what we're doing, how we're playing from college, Caitlin Clark coming into the league, um, and we're just going to continue to to take that throughout this, this summer, the Olympics. There's a lot going on, a lot for women's sports, and 
um, we're just going to be great at what we do. And the, the pay parity, I mean, yeah. it's is it okay? Are you getting close to, <laughs> is, can you live on this? I mean, because there's sometimes some of the, you know, the women's yeah, sports stars absolutely. had to take second and third jobs mm -hmm. to, to compete. I mean, we're in the best place we've been so far. And we're going to continue to grow and continue to get better. I think that um, our most recent collective bargaining agreement was the best one yet. And we'll continue to make it even better. Um, for us as WNBA players, you know, we don't compare ourselves directly to the NBA because it's, there's a lot of difference. Our league is very fresh, very new compared to the NBA. Um, but that doesn't mean that we want to continue to get better. We talked about the momentum. We talked about the, you know, the, the TV deals and now people being able to watch us um, on this network. And we'll just continue to um, strive for more. All right, we're proud to make history with you, being the first team to have your games broadcast over the air. Thank you so much, Brianna, Claire, and Kia. And good luck to you this season. One more step. You mm -hmm. almost there last year. One more step is yeah. all we need. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we we'll look forward to seeing you during the season. I appreciate right it. Right here on Fox 5. Congratulations. All right. Thank you.